Hey fellow strangers, my name is Marilyn. I am 33 and I'm from Northern Illinois. And I'm really interested to get to know you all through this uh, video vlogging experience um, that we will be sharing. Every Monday you'll be seeing my face, so hopefully uh, you'll be interested in the content that I put up and um, interested in my life. I also figured I'd let you know what I do with my life. Um, I am a creative in a lot of different ways. I actually own an Etsy shop called The Nerd Boutique and I am a creative writer. I sing, although I'm shy and don't usually do that in front of people. Other than that, I'm actually a PhD student and I study um, film and literature, television, media studies, young adult literature. I'm just finishing up my coursework, so I'm going to be working towards finishing my comprehensive exams and then writing my dissertation in the coming year or so. I actually have another channel where I am sort of using that as sort of a platform to explore some of um, the themes that I'm hoping to explore my dissertation. Um, I'm probably going to be writing about YouTube as a storytelling platform and so um, my channel that I, my personal channel, is going to be me reading a book that I have been writing and um, sort of also reflecting on the writing process and storytelling and I'll link that down below if all of you would like to check that out. It seems from our group chat that there are several writers and creatives in this small group of ours so it might be something that you're interested in um, and also I'd love your feedback about the story that I've been telling. It's kind of a crazy thing. I It's not a finished work. I've been sort of reading it um, and working on it at the same time and so it's kind of a daunting thing because I'm solely responsible for the content of the story so it doesn't get like edited or anything like that formally. Um, it's just me and I'm sort of publishing as I go which is an interesting dynamic because as the fellow writers in the group probably know as you write sometimes things change and you know you don't want to write yourself into the corner but if you haven't published anything yet then you can go back and fix things and the way I'm doing it um, I'm sort of taking away that possibility for myself so I have it pretty well planned but we'll see how it goes. Um, additionally um, I teach composition classes at the university where I'm a PhD student. Um, I have a graduate teaching assistantship basically so my teaching those classes and I teach them in exchange for some pay which is not a lot and for my a majority of my tuition to be covered. But other than that I figured I'd answer a few questions and allow you to get to know me through pop culture references because I'm also a bit of a pop culturalist pop culturalist yeah you know yeah that let's do this which hogwarts, which hogwarts house, house do i belong, do I belong to? to um so i'm pretty convinced that i would make the sorting hat glitch so i always thought i was a hufflepuff for like years and years and years but the reality is i am very studious i'm an academic i love to read and so there's very much a part of me that's very ravenclaw too and so I'm pretty sure that if I went to Hogwarts, the sorting hat would go on and it would like glitch out and they'd have to like create this like special wing for me and I'd be a Ravenpuff. Totally plausible, right? Which friend's, Which friend's character friend's are, you? are you? Ross. Which faction, Which faction would you be in in Divergent? Divergent? Erudite. Which pop Which culture, pop culture, Which pop culture would you would be? You be? Uh, there'd probably be a combination of witches because I'm kind of like personality wise like Piper from Charm but frankly if I had to choose which powers were best suited to me it would probably her be her sister Paige because she can orb everywhere and she can like will things to come to her through her power and she can heal people which I've always told people if I ever had a witch's power or some sort of po superpower I'd want it to be the power to heal people. So there's that. But then there's also kind of like Hermione Granger because of course she's like super smart and like likes to read and study and do things that most people think are like meh. Um, so there's that. Which Disney Which princess, princess do you most, you most identify, identify with? with? I'm really bad at this and I always want to combine things so we'll just keep going with that. So I'd be sort of like a combination of Belle because you know she's a reader and you know she falls in love with libraries really really quickly. That's me too. 
But then I'm kind of like Moana because she's super independent and doesn't need a partner in life necessarily to get by. Um, you know, like I feel like Moana would take one if she wanted to, but she'd be fine without them too. And so I feel like that's also kind of me. Which America's, Which America's next, next top model, model winner are you most like? like? Well, I don't look like any of them, but I suppose attitude wise, I'd be sort of like Yuana from cycle two, but then I'm fat. So maybe kind of like Whitney in cycle like eight or nine, 10, 11. I can't remember which cycle she was. What internet, what internet me most resembles most your life? life? This one, because oh my God. Which season which of season American, American Horror Story, Story is your favorite? Is your favorite? Uh, for a really long time it was Coven, but I feel like American Horror Story Cult is like so timely and relevant that it just, it's sort of expertly done and I think it has a lot of undertones that are really speaking to the ways of our world right now. It's kind of scary in all kinds of different ways. And I think I'll just end it there because... I will have plenty of time for you to get to know me better in plenty of different ways other than just through pop culture references. Although I speak through them a lot, so that's a thing. And so I look forward to getting to know all of you a bit better and um, we'll see how this whole thing shakes out. So until next Monday, my fellow strangers, because I will see you then.